Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Jasmine. So today I've got an update video for you on the horse riding game Astride, which in case you haven't heard of it before, it's an open world horse riding game that's still in the very early stages of development. And I've already posted a video on my channel introducing the game, which talked about some of its general features. And I will link that in the corner of this video and in the description box below, because it does cover most of the main and general features of the game. And this video will be exploring any new or additional features to what was mentioned in that video. But I've been following this game as a Patreon supporter now for a while, which means that I have access to a lot of work in progress pictures, videos, and just general updates as well posted by the team. And so I've built up quite a bit of content updates to share with you, including some recent testing that I was allowed to do to help stress test the multiplayer feature of the game, which was so much fun. I enjoy myself so much. And I'll be sharing some footage of that obviously later on in this video after I go over some of the planned features that have been revealed in the Discord server ever recently. But first, I just wanted to emphasize that this game is not finished, obviously. It is still in the very early stages of development, like I said, and a lot of the footage, if not all of the footage and images that I've included within this video, are either unfinished versions of parts of the game or are merely just placeholders for objects or aspects of the game that will later be changed or just completely replaced, especially of the footage of me helping to test the game. So yeah, just everything from the lighting, the controls, the objects, the texture, the animations and the UI and more could and probably will be altered before the game's release. So just bear that in mind when you're watching this video and all of the footage in it that yeah, it's not done yet. And also I'll link the game's Patreon page down below in the description box so that you can consider supporting the game's development as well, because I think everyone that supports the game on Patreon for a certain length of time at least will be invited to help test the game like me. So I would definitely recommend going and doing that. And also the game is now available to wishlist on Steam as well, so I will link that down below also. So I have made a long list of all of the updated planned features that have now been confirmed in the game's Discord server, which I will run through in a minute. But first, I just quickly wanted to share with you some of the work in progress photos and videos that I thought were particularly noteworthy or just needed a little bit of explanation. So first of all, they've shared several updates to the texture of the horse's manes and tails, and I think they're still working on them. So again, not finished yet, but they just look so much better now that they've made some of these changes and I thought it was such a big improvement to the early footage and trailer footage as well so I just wanted to highlight it. They've also shared the fact that they've been working on making sure that a horse's coat colour changes over time, particularly I think they mentioned for the dapple grey, it might only be for that or it might be for all of them, I don't know, but I think this is a really common feature for this type of coat so they shared a little video of that which I thought was really really cool and such an incredible level of thought and detail and it just makes me so excited about all the other aspects of this game that they might add. They also showed off just a ton of new animations, particularly I was interested in things like the horses rolling over and then some of the head movements when they're just hanging out in their stable. And I know that doesn't sound too exciting, but I think it'll be these little details that will make the game just feel that extra little bit more immersive. And I'm really excited to have lots of animations and actions between the horse and the rider, petting them in the paddock and having those personal interactions. That's what makes animal games fun for me, is just those little details. And then the last thing I wanted to quickly point you to was the fact that they've shared some initial UI designs for dressage, I think. They've also shared one for show jumping. And then they also showed an initial design for the camera mode as well, which is really exciting to see. I'm so grateful that we'll be able to have a camera mode in game. Again, all of these will be subject to change, so they're not gonna be the finished designs, but I think they look great, but it's just exciting to see the game develop really. So I was really excited to point all of those things out. But okay, so in terms of all of the planned features that have so far been announced in the game's Discord, so in terms of the game generally, it's gonna be open world, obviously. You're gonna be able to go anywhere within this world. There's going to be a multiplayer aspect to it, although I'm pretty sure it's gonna mostly be single player but it's not going to be an MMO which is a massively multiplayer online game so the multiplayer aspects will be like a feature not a main quality of the game. They've promised controller support so that means that the whole game could be accessed by a controller. I'm guessing that's like a console thing. It's gonna have
have customizable key binds, which is good. I obviously used some example key binds during the testing and I thought they were good. I'll talk about that a little bit later on. But again, this is not set in stone, so it might change later on and I'll probably have some influence on the controls later on in future testing sessions. They've also promised seasons and weather, which is really exciting. I mean, The Sims 4 could never in a base game, so. <laughs> so I'm happy about that. And also a day and night cycle, which seems obvious, but it's nice to have that confirmed, as well as holiday and seasonal events, which is a really nice, just wholesome thing to have. They've also promised a worldwide release on Steam, which is great. A photo mode, like I mentioned earlier, which I find really exciting, especially considering the control that we've got over the camera that we've seen so far in all of the footage and the testing footage as well later on. They've also listed a toggle HUD on and off, which I think in games, HUD just generally means maps, a health bar, things like that. So I don't know what that means specifically for a stride, but you'll have the option to toggle that on and off, which is good for taking pictures. I'm really excited about that. And then they've said limited fast travel. And I don't know what that means. It might mean that if you go to a competition, you have the ability to just sort of teleport there instead of having to ride to the competition location. So yeah, it says it's limited. I'm not sure what that means. It might be the equivalent of like driving in a car or something like that. But those are the general ones they've listed. In terms of the multiplayer feature, they have said that you can have the option to visit or invite friends and ride together, which sounds really fun. You'll be able to help your friends with stable work and sell and buy horses from other players. So that is a really exciting feature. Kind of reminds me of franchise mode in Planet Zoo. Really love that feature. And then you'll be able to have daily, weekly and monthly high scores on this multiplayer function and also host own servers. So I don't know what that means. Yeah, I don't know what the limits of that are and what that will look like in more detail, but that's what they've said. And all of that sounds really positive to me. I'm not interested in an MMO at all. I'm usually just a single player gamer, but I'm definitely open to this multiplayer function, especially after testing the multiplayer gameplay. You'll see that later on, but it was so much fun. And then in terms of competitions, they have listed that you'll be able to compete in single player or multiplayer competitions. They've listed ranking and seasons. Then they've also said best of country, continent and world. And then also end of season rewards. Then under riding and horse training, they've listed the ability to loosen and tighten reins, which is really exciting, a lovely detail. Horse swimming in deep water, and for it to be heavier for a horse to go through water, which is again, a nice detail. Also photo mode while riding, which we've kind of mentioned, but nice that we can do it whilst riding. And also the ability to pet a horse whilst riding, which is great, I love that. Manual lead changes, the ability to fall off a horse. I actually really like that feature. It makes it more realistic. And then you'll be able to test ride your horse before buying it, which I think is a great idea. And to be able to do lunging work as well, which is really, really lovely. Then in terms of horses themselves, there will be a really detailed horse customization tool. You'll be able to give them personalities and traits. You'll have the ability to purchase and sell horses. There'll be a physical horse market, which is really exciting. It sounds as though this game is gonna be super immersive, which I love. There's gonna be a horse AI system. Then it also says the possibility for injuries. So I'm guessing that's like horse injuries rather than human injuries, because it's under the horses category. Interesting that they haven't mentioned human injuries. Then the option to bond with your horse. Those are the things that I'm gonna love most about this game, I think, bonding with your horse. Also the ability to change main tail and forelock separately, and the ability to change your horse nickname. And then roaming in paddocks or when loose. And then there'll be a skill tree and leveling system for your horses. So I'm guessing for things like show jumping and dressage, your horses will improve over time. And then breeding and life. So you'll be able to breed horses for colors, personality and genetics as well, which all sounds amazing. There'll be a small chance for twins and pregnant mares will have a pregnant belly. So that's a really lovely detail. I love that. Then there'll be the option for foal care and training as well, which is exciting. The option to crossbreed horses. There'll be an entire horse life cycle, feed and care to lengthen horse life in small scale. So that might tie into the life cycle. And they've also said they'll have retirement fields as well. So that will tie into it as well. That sounds really cute. And I love all of those features. Then under barn and stable, they've got, you'll be able to muck out with a wheelbarrow, which I actually really love as a feature. You'll be able to control stable upkeep and maintenance. You'll have a tack room with inventory. You'll be able to choose outfits for your horse as well as your rider, customize your stable and also hire stable hands, which I love. Then in terms of horse care, you'll be able to do horse caretaking mini games, which sounds cute. That reminds me of Barbie Race and Ride. Did anyone play that when they were little? That 
That was my favorite game when I was a kid on my PlayStation 1. It was so good. You'll be able to mix feed for different horse needs. You'll be able to provide horses with hay and water, place horses in stores, paddocks, or turnouts, and you'll be able to saddle and fit your horses for tack as well. So that all sounds so good. In terms of the individual characters or people in the game that you can play as, you will have character customization from the house. There'll be a slide from female to non-binary to male, which is a really great feature. It says character jump. Oh, I'm guessing that's a movement so your character can jump over things. You'll also be able to play from a third and first person perspective. So I love that we've got that freedom to choose and then all clothes will be available to anyone. So I'm guessing that relates to gender, but I'm not entirely sure what they mean by that. You'll be able to recall active horses with a whistle, which is really nice. I love that feature. And then characters will also have a skill tree and leveling up as well. Then it lists the disciplines that we're going to see and it says more to be announced as well. And that might be in the base game, but it might also be in a DLC as well. So just bear that in mind. But they've confirmed that dressage, show jumping, cross country, and also gated riding will all be in the base game. And they intend to add Western racing and then academic and baroque riding in a DLC form. So they'll probably be separate DLCs. So one for Western, one for racing, one for baroque, that kind of thing. Within dressage, they've listed combined keys to perform actions. I'm guessing that's like the different kind of moves that you'll have. Then there'll be a scoring system based on performance and timing as well, which seems really detailed, which I love. Then they've also listed the moves. I'm such a horse riding noob, so don't judge me. But yeah, they've listed PF, passage, pirouette, extensions, collections, and lateral movements as well. Then in terms of show jumping, they've listed the fact that the rider can look towards the next jump. They've got different height classes from 40 centimeters to 160 centimeters, a scoring system for time and faults, a striding system, and an auto jump as well. And then you can control horse speed affecting jump length and power, as well as lead changes over jumps. And then also show jumping courses will have seasons and change up as well. So that all sounds like really detailed and a really immersive system. I don't know how any of that's gonna work, but I'm really excited for it. I don't think they've mentioned cross country yet. They've not explored that yet, I don't think. So more on that will come, I'm sure. But in terms of horse breeds, they've also said that more will be announced. And again, I don't know if this is gonna be more in base game or more in DLCs are gonna be announced. But so far within the base game, they've confirmed that they'll have the Norwegian warm blood horse, the Norwegian fjord horse, the Icelandic horse, the Norwegian doll horse, and the Northlands horse. So there's a bit of a Nordic theme going on and that's just because that that's where the game makers are from, I think. So they've got a theme, but that's it in terms of all of the listed plan features that they've announced so far on their Discord server. So now I wanted to show you some of the test footage that I recorded when we were doing the multiplayer stress test. So again, please bear in mind that this is not what the actual gameplay footage is gonna look like. The horses will not be the color of Skittles, don't worry. And I'm pretty sure that all of the objects are just placeholder objects as well. And the train definitely won't look like this. Things like the lighting controls and definitely the animations as well will all look different. But it still is super exciting just to get an early glimpse of the game. And I think it honestly just looks so promising. Everything they've done, all of the updates that they've given and everything they've said about the game just really gives me hope that they are gonna deliver everything about this game to such a high standard. So I'm not concerned. But yeah, in terms of my experience playing the game, I mentioned the controls briefly earlier, but they were really interesting. So we got four directional controls. So left, right, obviously, but then we've got up and down, which actually controlled the speed of the horse. So it's speed up, speed down control. And then separate from that, we also got four separate number keys to control the gait of the horse. One was walk, two was trot, three canter, four gallop. So you couldn't just speed up into a different gait. You had to click the number key to change gait, which I think that you should have the option to do both just to make it easier for you to not have to move your fingers quite so much. It will make it a little bit quicker, I think. But obviously this is all going to be subject to change, but I thought it worked okay. I thought it still worked. And I absolutely loved the fact that we can control the angle of the camera completely. So you could literally move camera, I want to say 360 degrees, but it's more than that. You could literally look at your horse upside down and then bird's eye view as well, whilst your horse is going in completely the opposite direction. So there's the potential there to have some really, really great cinematic shots, especially considering that we've got that camera mode as well. They also had several different objects dotted around the fake worlds that we got to play in this multiplayer mode. So they had several different trees and other objects to explore as well as an indoor and outdoor arena. And I thought that all of the objects in game looked really, really pretty personally, but I think they said that 
that everything was just a placeholder so everything will change that might mean a very subtle change or it might mean a complete change so I honestly have no idea how different the finished game is gonna look in terms of those things but it looked good to me I had a look around and I was making my horse get up really close to all of the stones and the trees I was checking out all of the textures and I just assumed that it means that the finished game is gonna look even prettier than it did when I was looking at it so I'm really excited about it but obviously the main point of the test was to stress test the multiplayer aspect of the game only so that means that they just wanted to make as many people go into the server as possible at the same time just to see how much the server could handle so that they could get an idea of what limit to set in this multiplayer system in game and I think we had like 70 people in there at the same time there were obviously some bugs and glitches which is to be expected at this stage but I must say like I mentioned earlier I've never been a fan of multiplayer games before the majority of the time I just want to have absolute full control over my game and what goes on in it and obviously this game is mostly going to be single player but I cannot believe how much I enjoyed playing in this multiplayer mode with everyone it was just so much fun and so wholesome I think it was partly because of the excitement of just being one of so few people who got to participate in the development of the game so that was exciting in and of itself but there was a point where all of us were just galloping around together following one of the game developers so it was like we were a wild herd of horses it felt like I was in spirit or something it was just so wholesome and just so lovely and I'm very aware that that makes me sound like a nerdy horse girl but I am so that's okay <laughs> but yeah it just made me really excited for this game so hopefully you are too and I will confirm that I fully intend to add gameplay of Astride to my channel when it releases properly and even before then as well because obviously like I mentioned I will have testing access to the early versions of the game so yeah that is pretty much everything that I wanted to say and to share with you in this video so I hope you liked it and are equally as excited about it as me I would love to know what your opinions of the game are so far down in the comments and whether or not you were a part of that original testing group of people also I've linked the work in progress updates from the astride discord server to a channel in my own discord server so for anyone who's interested in joining that the link to my discord server is in this video description down below in case you want to join and you can follow the updates there if you want to also again please consider supporting astride however you can I mean obviously support them on patreon if you can and then you'll be able to get test access to the game but even if it's just by liking this video sharing this video or any other video by other creators who have played the game or are interested in the game and by following astride on social media anything like that I'm sure they'll really appreciate it but anyway that's it from me so as always if you like this video then please like comment and subscribe thank you so much for watching I will see you next time bye everyone